Okay, third part of our shading and shadow um, series tutorial is just going to be to sort of enhance the the drawing with with shading. Um, so, say um, you want a certain object to be more important than the objects behind it. <clears throat> so, in here we have you know like a big flower. This is our main our main object. This is what we want to stand out. But we also want to fill all of our space or our tile. And on the outside we have, you know, just different shapes. And I'm working really quickly just so I don't have a super long video here. And this is in its simplest form, right? Um, you can get really detailed in, in, you know, highlighting certain things or not. So we want this box to stand out. We want it to be the more important thing, to look like it's on top and the other box is on the bottom. So we can, we can imagine a light source, say a light source is coming from here, so you're going to have a bigger shadow underneath or you can and just use shading in general to to pull it out so we would just go a little bit all around the outside of your main box see I mean already that's pulling it out because now we have a, a large border right but if we actually take our shader and make some shadow here again you know making it kind of fade out as you go away from the object see how suddenly this is looks like it's kind of floating on top this is the most important thing this is standing out and your eye goes absolutely to that object um, and then the rest kind of is just a little bit of background just to give it some interest but not pull your eye there. Um, you can actually, you know, go ahead and shade all the outside if you want it to just, you know, really be kind of a, a little bit of a background image without detracting from your, your main image at all. Yeah, so this is really nice. This is a really good way to kind of highlight if you have one focal area that you really love. Um, but you want to fill up the space, then you can just kind of put a little shadow all the way around it, and it brings it out. Um, and even to, to quickly do that, you can do that with the flower inside here to even make another level. So we'll just go around, and we use a pretty soft pencil, and, and this would likely be all in pen, and, and I'm just, for the sake of saving time, using a pencil for everything. Um, but a pretty soft pencil makes the, the lead go down easier. That's going to be a little bit darker mark. <clears throat> and then again, we'll just take this, take our shader, and again you can do it with your finger, but it, it's not as precise. It's a little bit harder to get a you know, tight shadow like in these corners. It's going to smudge a little bit more possibly onto your flower. So we'll just do this and just quickly go around these petals. And most of the time, I'll be taking a little bit more time on these shadows when I'm when I'm actually working, um, just to be a little bit more precise. But it, it's really not necessary. You can do a quick smudge and still get a really nice effect. <clears throat> so see how that's now that pop that flower is popping out from even that middle background. So you sort of have like three levels going on there, and it really puts the focus on your flower. Um, Anyway, I will show you some um, examples of shading with the Zentagles in the next video.